Hi everyone, it's Eric, and in this video I'm going to give you my first impressions of Android 5.0 Lollipop running on the 2012 edition Nexus 7. Now at the time of making this video, Android 5.0 should have rolled out to the majority of Nexus devices such as the Nexus 4, 5, both Nexus 7s and the Nexus 10. In this video I'll just show it running on the 2012 Nexus 7. So let's get started. The first place where you will notice Lollipop's presence is in the lock screen. You have these Google Now cards that appear and you can expand them with the good old two finger gesture and you can also swipe them off to dismiss them. There's other things you can do as well, but those are the major features of the lock screen. The unlocking mechanism has changed as well. Instead of swiping in any direction, you now have to swipe up in order to unlock the device. Now the home screens look very familiar, but the main differences are the redesign of the icons and widgets. They look much more flat and match the cards that you're presented with in Google Now. So the other thing we are going to take a brief look at is the notification bar. Instead of having both your notifications and toggles on separate shades, now they are both in one. If you do one single swipe, you get your notifications, and if you swipe again, you'll get your toggles, which is presented in a really cool way. The two finger swipe to get quick access to your toggles is still here as well. Now let's quickly cover material design. You get these really nice fancy animations. When you launch an application and then quit it, instead of disappearing it actually slides downwards. There are many transitions like this and the more I use it the more I notice new ones. Also the email app has now been merged with the Gmail app. Which begs the question why did they keep the email app if it's meant to be replaced with Gmail? I have a hunch but it's still quite far fetched. What did not come through with material design though was the new app drawer or folder design animations. But to tell you the truth, I don't really mind as I prefer this app drawer to the new one. Everything just seems far more accessible, especially the widgets. Another place where material design shows is in the settings app. It now actually looks like a tablet up to my settings app. Also the multitasking UI has changed into what looks like the Google Chrome tab switcher for smartphones and tablets. At first I didn't like this at all as I preferred the multitasking from ice cream sandwich and onwards but after using it for a while I've actually warmed up to the new design. I still really like the previous one and I wish I had the option to switch between the two but as it stands it's still a great design and I have enjoyed using it. Also, Android 5.0 is probably the best easter egg for software ever. This lollipop appears and you can tap it to change into a variety of different colours and if you press and hold it will take you into an Android version of Flappy Birds. It's not great as it isn't at all precise with your jumps and you keep over or under jumping but it's still a pretty cool easter egg. As far as performance goes on this 2012 Nexus 7, it's been good for the most part. Multitasking has been running at a super smooth frame rate and games and apps still perform very well with the exception of Google Chrome. There are also some apps that are not compatible with Lollipop, so the developers will need to give them an update. Also, navigating around the launcher can be a bit of a problem. On the Nexus 7, it can lag quite a lot, and at one point, the launcher actually crashed on me and had to restart itself. I would suggest that you wipe the cache like I showed you in a previous video, as that will really help the device to run a heck of a lot smoother. Now remember, this video is just a first impressions. I have not even commented on things like battery life and the toll this update will take on this device long term. So I'll do a full software review in about a week or two after further testing. I will also be getting the Nexus 6 inch review and I'll be covering the full blown lollipop update on that as well. So definitely stay tuned for that. Don't forget, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up as it really does help. You can also follow me on my social networks. I'm on Twitter, Facebook, Google Plus and Instagram. Thanks very much for watching guys and I'll see all of you next time. Take care.